Hi, this is Group 1's presentation for Horse Slaughter with Michelle Tao, Riley Alexander, Emily Orozco, and Christian Robles in Animals and Society. History and Background Horses have been eaten by people for over 400,000 years. Through domestication, horses were valued for transportation and labor. Soon, horse meat became an alternative, especially during hard times and war. Today, 16%, about 1 billion people, of humans in the world eat horse meat. However, majority of Americans do not eat horse meat because it is considered taboo as horses are valued as pets just the same as dogs or cats. In simple terms, horse slaughter is killing horses for human consumption and harvesting products of the animal. Horse slaughter, however, was banned in the U.S. in 2007, but many other countries still have horse slaughter, and the U.S. is known to export their horses to other countries to slaughter them, for example, in Mexico and Canada. These are some ethical aspects for horse slaughter. Horses in the U.S. are seen as pets and friends and less of a tool. In this case, tool meaning for work, transportation, and food. Horses today are still used for transportation and entertainment, but not as food. Seen as both in other parts of the world. Dr. Hal Herzog views eating horse meat to be more ethical than eating other animals. She quoted, the horse probably had a good life, and if it can be humanly slaughtered, it would be preferable in some ways than eating chickens, which are raised in wet, dark, ammonia-filled houses. Abuse and neglect in horses has increased after ban, which is largely due to economic reasons. The quote we found states, a cared for life ending in slaughter is a better scenario than a neglected life saved from the slaughterhouse. In effect of banned horse slaughter comes the consequence of neglected horses. Uh, this slide is of cultural and sociological importance. Horses today are raised as domesticated animals, such as dogs and cats, Horses are primarily used for recreation, sports, and pleasure, like horse racing. They are also used for therapy, called horse ther um, it's okay, it's okay. therapy. Some cultures consider horse meat as a delicacy. Metopoly questions why certain animals are deemed acceptable to eat while others aren't. The morality of an animal applied by humans can maybe determine this. Horse slaughter is turned to by owners when horses are aged, became less productive through injuries and more. Horse slaughter also provided some additional income from harvesting and selling organs, meat, etc. It also cost less than other alternatives to get rid of horses such as Euthanasia. Euthanization was less sought after because of the price. It was a greater cost for horses due to their large size and the needed equipment for burial. Also, it would cost more than euthanization for small animals. As the options to slaughter horses was now banned, owners began to neglect and abuse horses with inability to maintain them any longer. Current events. July 2021, the U.S. House of Representatives has passed the Carter Fitzpatrick Amendment to the Invest in America Act, which would ban the slaughter of American equines, quote unquote, Humane Society Legislative Fund. The amendment would ban the transport of equines to other countries solely for the purpose of slaughter. Currently, the slaughter of horses in the U.S. is banned, but not the export of horses to be slaughtered in other countries. If enacted into law, it would effectively end the slaughter of all American horses. 
However, what would happen to all the unwanted and abused horses still in America? Overpopulation of horses and burrows in the U.S. The number of horses and burrows in the holding facilities of the Bureau of Land Management, BLM, reaches its max capacity to receive appropriate management. Almost every state but Idaho that is listed in the table to the right reaches the maximum capacity of horses and burrows. With an overpopulation of these animals, some would be required to be removed by the, la the law because there's not enough land and material to manage the horses and burrows. In the table, you can see that Arizona and California have highest rates of overpo overpopulation estimates of 321% and 399%. Besides those numbers are the number of horses that need to be removed according to the law, and those numbers are up to the thousands. After doing some research, we found a video about the unwanted horses at Monterey SPCA. The number of horses that could be held at the SPCA shelter in Monterey is reaching its maximum capacity. These horses were unwanted, either surrendered or abandoned by their owners. It is increasingly becoming a big issue in the equine industry because the number of unwanted horses only continues to rise. Here's a short clip from the video. Dozens of unwanted horses are filling pens at the SPCA. The economy is forcing owners to surrender their pets or worse, stop feeding them because they can't afford it. The number of horses in SPCA care now is at a near all time high. Here is another clip from the video that we watched. There were people out there right here in Monterey County who either completely stopped feeding their horses or just outright abandoned them, which is illegal and really inhumane. The economy has made many horses its victims. Around the time the economy turned, um, hay prices also went up, so it just created the perfect storm. Unable to feed their horses, many were also unable to sell their horses. They used to be able to breed horses and sell them for a profit, and the, the market has completely turned. Rise of neglect and abuse on horses after ban of horse slaughter in the U.S. Rachel Zimlich states, in Colorado alone, investigations of horse neglect and abuse increased by more than 60% from 2005 to 2010, according to GAO. California, Texas, and Florida also reported more cases of abandonment since the closure of slaughter facilities in 2007. So, since the ban of horse slaughter and the closure of all facilities, Neglect on horses was much higher than in the years prior to the ban and closure slaughtering. The unwanted horses are no longer able to be sent to a slaughterhouse in the country, which leads to neglect and abuse of the horse because their owners can no longer care for them. Some horses would even be abandoned and end up in holding facilities already struggling to provide for the horses they have, such as in the video I provided of the Monterey SPCA. Much of the neglect and abuse of horses is not planned, but it happens to occur because owners cannot surrender their horses to a slaughterhouse when they no longer need them. So it turns them to neglect the needs of a horse. Okay, this slide is for reasons to be f for horse slaughter. Uh, thousands of horses are unwanted in the U.S. The reason is due to the fact that they are too old not useful behavior issues and not getting adopted. These unwanted horses are neglected and abused because they don't have the proper means of care. Unitasia is too costly for some owners as caring for a horse is expensive already. Horse slaughter could be another alternative, but not knowing what to do with unwanted horses. The ban of horse slaughter also does not stop exports of horses from the U.S. to slaughter horses in other countries. The economy of horse slaughter in the U.S. right now, they are having to export and transport horses to other countries for slaughter. This costs a lot of time and a lot of money. This could be more time and cost efficient to slaughter horses in the U.S. and export meat to countries that consume horses. 
Also, the horse slaughter industry could provide for more jobs. Products from horses you probably used. The first product would be glue. We get glue from the hoof of the horses, which is called clogan. This glue is used for furniture, glass, art, and book binding, but used to be used for everyday things. The second product is sugar. We get this from the bone char, which is uh, where we get the sugar from horses. The third product is paint brushes. We use the hair from horses called sables to make the paint brushes. The paint brushes that are made from horses are able to hold a lot more paint and they are able to apply the paint more evenly and smoothly compared to other horse, other horse material. <coughs> the fourth product are violin bows. We use hair, horse hair from horses to make violin bows. The reason for this is because they simply produce much more rich and great sound than a violin bow, which is made from synthetic material. Here's some more facts about horse slaughter. Domestic horse slaughter is a necessary part of the million dollar horse industry. The kill pen brokers scour the auctions and internet looking for horses to fill a weekly quota they receive from processing plants in Mexico and Canada. Horses are sold at auction by the pound in general, the average horse sells for about $400 to $500. Some types of glues are made from horses because they are so big and are so large. A horse provides an abundance of collagen. Collagen can be used for many things and is very important in the world. But in this case, the material is used to make animal glues. However, it is illegal to sell horses to kill them to make glue or for any commercial purposes. Because it is illegal doesn't mean that it stops other countries and other people in the U.S. from doing it. Because glue is such a, it sells so much and there's such a big need for it, people are still doing it illegally and using them because they make so much collagen and because they're so big they can make so many glue. Positive Effects and Changes of Slaughter Practices According to World Animal Protection, a five-year study of our humane slaughter training found that arbitrators earned a better reputation by using humane methods, helping them compete globally. Staff morale improved too, and because fewer animals were injured, fewer carcasses were bruised, improving meat quality. In the use of humane techniques, there has been many changes made to make it a more positive practice, which included pre-slaughter stunning, which stops animals from feeling any kind of pain, the correct use of stunning and the proper restraining equipment, handling animals in groups to reduce stress on individual animals and the use of non-slip floors and low angle ramps to stop animals from falling and getting injured. Informed opinion and summary. From our research, we have seen the practical reason for horse slaughter in which the owners can no longer take care of the horses. They are deathly ill or the overpopulation of unwanted horses. In addition, the slaughterhouses provide revenue, jobs, and taxes. The slaughter industry offers a humane, economically viable alternative to a euthanasia for unwanted or dangerous horses under careful federal regulation. It allows more meat production and food for others, and if there's all these unwanted horses, they are able to make more profit in food production than allowing unwanted horses to be neglected and abused. 
For these reasons, horse slaughter should be re reconsidered and allowed in the United States. As we come to the end of our presentation, these are our works cited. Thank you for your time.